OBS Studio has hundreds of plugins on their forum. I'm going to show you guys my top five today. Welcome back to the channel, guys. My name is Kyle, but I go by I am Triple G Online. Should pop up right there. Some people call me your stream sensei. I like to give tips and tricks uh, on content creation here on YouTube, Twitch, and on TikTok. Enough about that. Let's talk about OBS Studio. It doesn't matter if you're a new streamer or you're a veteran. OBS plugins can be kind of intimidating. So I'm going to show you the install process that I do. I'm also going to give you my top five plugins that you guys should use to help further your content creation. And disclaimer, this is not for slobs uh, or stream elements OBS. This is strictly for OBS Studio. Sorry, guys. But first, 97% of you guys are not subscribed to the channel. Am I doing something wrong? Leave a comment. Tell me what's up. Okay, so the install is pretty easy. First of all, we want to go to Google. Boom, OBS plugins. We're going to go to the first one. Okay, so what I'm going to do, is I'm going to pick a plugin that I don't have yet, and I'm going to show you how I install it onto my computer and for my OBS studio. So I'm going to pick source copy right here. And right below my head, there is a download button. So I'm going to go to that. And what I want to do is I like to do the zip. So you can also do Windows installer where it automatically installs for you. Uh, if you're using Mac, there you go for the macros and for Linux too. Uh, so I'm going to do the zip. I'm going to let it download. What I'm going to do is let, open it up, pops it up, and I'm going to select both and I'm going to copy. After that, I'm going to go to the location where my OBS folder is. My PC. What I'm going to do, it's on my C drive. Now well, my program files. It's probably going to be in the same location as you guys. Uh, if you go down, OBS Studio, click. And what you want to do now is you want to go File and Paste. This will come up. Uh, all of that. And there we go. Next time you open OBS, you'll have that plugin installed that simple now let's get into some plugins okay so the first plugin that i want to talk about today i've actually made a video on it you can probably find it right here it is actually called move transition with move transition you're able to move similar sources in different scenes to different parts of the scene that you want to and are able to uh do really cool creative things like just uh, at a click of a button, change to a, like a replay thing or a different screen to show a certain gameplay. It's definitely one of the ones that helped me get my content to the next level, which is pretty sweet. The second plugin I want to talk about is something that kind of brings you back to those old days when you're listening to CDs on your Windows Media Player or on your PlayStation 2 and you have those little bars and stuff popping up and all that jazz and you're just like yeah i miss that well obs has a plugin for it and it's called the spectralizer plugin i actually use this on my stream all the time i have it behind me so it captures my audio when i'm talking and can kind of just do like that it's just a cool visualization tool that i like to use it is pretty cool because you can put it on any sort of audio um source and it will just play and do the movement and it's pretty cool you don't always have to keep it on music you don't always have to keep it on your desktop audio you just you do what you want to put it on uh like myself i like it on my um on my microphone on this the next plugin that i want to talk about is called stream fx stream fx allows you to add blurs and motion and and everything to your stream uh and obs stuff as well as adding a thing called mirror source uh, mirror sourcing adds a duplicate of a source like a webcam and you're able to put filters on that not affecting the first webcam it's definitely a cool plugin that you want to have if you want to have your stream feel like you have a lot of depth and perspective the next plugin that i want to talk about is called obs virtual cam this is a plugin that allows you to send once turned on your obs uh, overlays and settings and everything that you've done into a thing like discord uh, instead of having a video chat where it's just your cam on Discord, you can actually have all your uh, overlays from OBS. Now, the last one I want to talk about is actually kind of uh, 
a plugin that I don't use much anymore, but I did get a lot of use out of it. It's called Bong Obs Cat, so Bong OBS Cat, and it's a VTuber setting for your OBS. It's a virtual cat that tracks your mouse movement. Yeah, it's a cute little thing. I love it. You can do your own build mode, and uh, yeah, I used to use it all the time because I didn't like showing my face. Now I don't mind, and I make videos and do all this stuff, so I have a face cam. But for people that don't like face cams, uh, this is a cool option that you can do, and it's a cool thing that OBS has a couple plugins like this. This is what it looks like if I have the Spectralizer, Bongo Cat right here, the shader filter behind me, uh, the move transition, and uh, the stream effects. This is all the stuff that you can do. Kind of sweet, eh? I know it looks like a bit of a mishmash and a little bit of a hodgepodge of things, but this is examples of things that you can create. All right, guys, all the links to all the plugins that I talked about today will be in the description below, uh, as well as the OBS forums for plugins. And if you think this video will help you out a little bit, make sure you leave a thumbs up. And if you want, give a subscribe. It helps the channel out a lot. If you have any other questions, make sure you leave a comment or you guys can join me uh, every Tuesday, Thursday or Saturday on Twitch. The link will be in the description below. This is it, guys. Uh, this is awesome. This video right here is going to help you set up that move transition like I talked about earlier. So make sure you guys go click that. And uh, I'm out of here.